Well, today, after uh, having a phone call with Governor DeWine, uh, Kent State University will suspend face-to-face -face classes effective at 4.25 p.m. this evening, this afternoon. On Monday, we will begin remote delivery of our courses for a full week. From the 23rd to the 29th, we will have spring break as originally scheduled. Then we will resume remote delivery of our courses from March 30th through April 10th. And our goal right now is to reintroduce face-to-face -face classes, resume face-to-face -face classes on Monday, April 13th. We're doing this uh, to support Governor DeWine's effort to dramatically slow the spread of the coronavirus in Ohio, to mitigate the spread of, uh, of the virus. And in particular, in his press conference of today, the governor requested that universities move their face-to-face -face courses online. We will keep our residence halls open but we are encouraging students who can go home to go home. But we will keep our residence halls open and uh, at least one of our dying facilities will remain open. The Kent Student Center will remain open. University libraries will be, remain open. Faculty are uh, able to continue working in their labs and in their offices but we ask them to avoid meetings and we ask them to practice good social distancing, so keeping three to six feet between themselves and anyone else. Uh, the end of our face-to-face -face courses for the time being applies to our College of Podiatric Medicine as well as to our College of Nursing. However, clinical rotations for both of those colleges students can continue. As far as intercollegiate athletics, we uh, are uh, following NCAA and MAC conference guidelines. Most of our sports right now are outdoor sports and they can continue. We do have one gymnastics meet, home gymnastics meet scheduled for Friday. It can proceed, but with dramatically restricted attendance. Outdoor sports such as women's lacrosse, golf, men's and women's golf, softball, baseball can continue, assuming the NCAA and the MAC allow those to, to continue. We do not yet have any update on the MAC men's and women's basketball tournaments, and we're awaiting decisions to be made about that tournament to be held in, in Cleveland. And again, I just want to stress that we have no COVID-19 cases on the Kent State campus. As of this moment, we have three in the state of Ohio, but we applaud Governor DeWine and his administration for really taking the lead in the nation in very aggressive, active steps to mitigate the coronavirus in our state and therefore we are taking these actions uh, to support that effort. Okay, so the buildings you mentioned, are there any, any academic buildings going to be open? Uh, the so the academic buildings will be open for faculty to use their offices and uh, for faculty to conduct their laboratory work, but we, we ask that uh, they do not conduct meetings and that if they have any uh, interactions, they, they stay apart from one another by three to six feet. Practice social distancing. You said students uh, are welcome to stay here, but are very encouraged to go home. Yes, yeah, so students, we encourage all students that can go home to go home. And uh, students are, who need to stay here are, are, we are keeping our residence halls open. And again, we'll have no classes through Friday, remote courses 
next week, spring break the week after that, We'll follow spring break with two more weeks of remote courses. And then our plan is to resume face-to-face -face courses on April 13th. And this applies to all of our Kent State University campuses at Kent and all other locations. Although we will allow clinic clinical rotations to continue for nursing and podiatric medicine. Yeah, at this point, we're, uh, we're watching, and uh, we have not yet made any decisions about events that will be held after the uh, planned April 13th resumption of face-to-face -face meetings, but that is something uh, we will continue to observe and accompany, and then if we make changes to commencement or to May 4th weekend events, uh, we will communicate those changes if and when they are made. Too early to say at this point. Has the university ever had something like this happen, done something like this before? So we did have five years ago a brief but very intensive scare with Ebola. And I want to say that that was important in that we learned that we have great faculty and great leadership, particularly in our College of Public Health, who have given us great advice and have done a wonderful job of explaining uh, the current pandemic.